YouTube. Guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, JC. Today I have a real banger of a YouTube video for you guys. It's how to use bats at Town Hall 13. It's a super strong strategy. We've been crushing bases in 1.5.2.0 and I wanna show you guys how to do it. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit all the buttons, and let's continue the show. All right, guys, I wanna show you Doctor's Attack. Doctor in 1.5.2.0 has pretty much been the pioneer of this attack. It's pretty much what all he does. He comes in with either dragons or the super minion variant, which I'll show you in the next attack, but he's been crushing bases about it. So let's start this attack. And he starts off coming, he usually always comes the, the opposite side of the town hall because he's actually, the point of the attack is to focus your king queen to do your king in um, RC to clear out a little section. Queen is clear out the other side of that section and create a narrow pathing for the dragons. And as you see here, he's probably gonna send the dragons all down throughout the eagle straight into the town hall and usually your heroes are going to get a scatter shot that's what you're trying to aim for so if you can figure out how to funnel get a scatter shot get a couple wizard towers and you're left with maybe two wizard towers left seven bat spells with four freezes just completely f kills any wizard towers because you can just freeze them four times and the bat seven bat spells just crazy crazily wreck the base so let's start so he's using a super minion super goblin to Funnel, out comes the RC, out comes the King, out comes an Ice Golem. RC is gonna come in, take out that Wizard Tower, clear out that AD. A second Ice Golem is gonna come in. Barbarian King is actually gonna take out the Eagle. So Barbarian King on Barbarian King, RC is engaged now. He's gonna have to hit the ability soon. Yep, RC uses the ability, clears out an AD and hits some of that scatter shot. Queen is stepping in, going to clear out that side, and the dragons are just going to go straight down into Town Hall. And as you see, the dragons are going to go straight down towards 6 o'clock, and the only thing that's going to harm the bats that's remaining is, well, that scatter shot's still up, I think he wanted to get that down, and are these two wizard towers in the back end. So he, he rages up the bats in the middle, Queen's dead. Blimps to Town Hall, easy blimp, with uh, the goblins. Out comes the Lava Hound. Unfortunately, the Town Hall didn't go down as fast as he wanted, but still good. The Lava Hound's getting dragged by Archer, that's amazing. And out comes the Bats, right on top of the scatter shot, so they can't hit anything. And he's got to freeze these Wizard Towers. And that Wizard Tower just got locked on to the Bats or to the dragons, and it's pretty much GG's. He, has, he had two wizard towers against four freezes and seven bats, and you just go all throughout the base. Nothing, if nothing else can harm these bats, like expos or anything like that, they just completely get destroyed. He actually had an ice golem for that five o'clock wizard tower, and didn't even need it. Did not even need it, because uh, the dragons path towards that way. Um, so the only thing that's left is kind of time. That's the only thing I've seen when you perfectly planned this base is time is a little bit of a factor because bats do take a little bit of time to go through storages they they rip through defenses really fast but storages they kind of like go a little look look how fat look how long it takes to get the storage down i'm going 2x at this point uh, he still has a super goblin he doesn't want to lure that uh the hound over where the bats are and get distracted but it's easy easy clean up he has an, actually a swag freeze for it again great attack from there so here is the super minion version of it. It's just rolling weed coming in, and here's a super minion version of it. I haven't figured out what's better, what's worse. Super minions are also super strong. Um, I've actually seen Doctor and all the people that are using this attack have more success with the super minions. I particularly have more success with the dragons, uh, but again, I don't use the strategy as much as them. So let's start the attack. Okay, here comes the super giant, or no, just regular giant. Queen is coming in, gonna take out this funnel. She's gonna, she, he wants him to walk right into that scatter shot. Queen's coming in, or King is coming in, he's gonna take out that enemy RC. 
So in this one, he uses a little different. Rolling Weed uses the, the king and queen first to create the funnel. He's going to use the RC on the other side to create the next funnel. Out on the top is a super minion. They're great for funneling. King is going to take out a scatter shot. Again, you always want to target a scatter shot with your initial king queen. And you always also always want to go opposite of town. You do not want to lure the, the CC early because you don't want to be fighting the CC with your heroes. It's just a waste of a hero. Um, Suey. You don't want to fight this the CC. You don't want to get distracted or anything like that. Out comes the super minions. They're going to go path right. He's created a little bit of a skinny uh, funnel. And the super minions are just going to do work, especially with all those loons in the background. Outcomes should be coming out is the blimp. Here comes the blimp. He's going to ward in the blimp, so it always makes the town hall. And then once the once the town hall is cleared, you, as you can see, the only two wizard towers at the back end are those two. And he has three freezes. He has a ice golem for that six o'clock one, and it's just easy, easy killed, easy destroyed base. So if you can get a scatter shot, in this case, he got two scatter shots um, with his initial push, and it just completely, completely destroys everything. Super minions are now attacking the bottom side they get hit with all the mines but he has three freezes and an ice golem for these bats i don't think one bat has died so far he has to freeze that wizard tower again he freezes again nice freeze and that wizard tower is now looking to lock on to the ice golem but doesn't need it because he has another freeze so it's just completely wrecked um yeah it's just crazy crazy strong especially if you can figure out how am i gonna end up with the base with just two wizard towers left that's usually the secret magic is Two wizard towers remain with my initial um, heroes and my initial push of dragons or super minions. And there's two minions and there's two wizard towers remain. It's completely wrecked with the bats. I recommend going with the bats because you can always just double, triple freeze or quadruple freeze those wizard towers are just completely wrecked. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.